Right, steam engine rally take two. Camera message just there, didn't get a break. Didn't get a <laughs> yard. So there we are. Plenty of engines here this time, look. See, let me hold it down a bit because it's too much sky, it's too dark. There we are. Look, lots of them. All sorts here today. So we'll see if we can get a few friends. These are all going out in the rain. I'll have a word for the people that I met yesterday, if I can find them, and see what they're saying. Look, lots of engines here today. We'll just walk down the line. It's Lincoln Steam Festival, by the way, and the interesting thing is that a lot of these engines were actually made either in Lincoln or in uh, Lincolnshire. Like this one, look. You see? Foster's it was made in Lincoln. And this one here, it was made at Ruston Proctor's. And I actually worked for a subsidiary of Ruston's for 16 years, so the factory's still here and up and running more or less. It's Ruston Gas Terminal. Well, AEC Alstom now, I think it is. It's changed hands a few times. So there we are. Plenty of engines here, you see. And the tractors, we'll show you those. And some. Uh, stationary engines so we'll have a walk around and see I'll just check my cameras all right before we go too far this time look a nice showman engine here look see and there's lots and lots and lots of engines here and roundabouts and the driving things you know it's all for me of interest look see the engines of all shapes and sizes here look see trying to keep the sky out there's a pretty one I'm going to bore you with hours of engines. I'll just show you, give you a feel of the place. There's quite a lot of steam engines here. I mean, an organ truck. And this one's been driven properly. What happens to show you the driving truck? video to last year. Look at the engines. I mean look, it's got a field full of station engines, not the old one. Look, many, many, many engines. See, got some there. Right here, look. Look, big field full. Can you see? All sorts. Here are our British, that engine that we missed yesterday. See what you think, eh? Here we are. As well as a classic car show, a big classic car show, there's also, of course, you've got your tractors here. And look, look, they go on. There's a big, big field full. Right? Take your choice. Everything you want. There we are, and there's lines of them. So we'll just show you one or two of the more interesting ones. The old Marshalls, you know, they're very, these are the single cylinder pop-pop ones, and they're very desirable tractors, and they fetch an awful lot of money. 
Yeah, you can pick them up. Well, they're not that that rough. If they haven't been restored, apparently they're thirteen or fifteen thousand, but cost about ten thousand, fifteen thousand to restore them now, so they cost a fortune. So there's a few of those here. But look, there's lines tractors. Look, you've got lines in the field for whole line of them. All the Fergies behind them. Let me just zoom in one. There we are. Look, and old tractors here. There's a somewhere there's a state of old ones. Anyway, we'll just give you a quick view around. Like I said, you know, you could you could make a year's worth of videos of tractors if you wanted to. As I said, there's a large classic car show as well. You see? Oh, nice Mark 1 Cortina there. Look, fire engines. Look, right up to the steam engine. Can you see? Make, a, make videos for a month just at the car show. Well, there we are. There's everything here. Probably there's too there's too much really. You can't. You just can't get everything. You know. Look, lines, trucks. Let me just zoom a bit. Oh, there's a line of trucks the other side of the road. See. Oh. There you are. There's some cars for your lads. We've said the finish.